Hey, good morning, Calvary. Pastor Chad with your word for the day. And uh, today we're looking at Proverbs 29. And, and before we get to the verse, let me just ask you this. Uh, did you grow up in a strict family? I'm talking about one that practiced discipline, because uh, I did. My parents believed in discipline. And when I talk about discipline, I'm talking about corporal punishment. Uh, I'm just thankful they didn't believe in capital punishment, uh, or else I wouldn't be here. But, uh, uh, I mean, I, I, you know, I got spanked. I got grounded. Uh, my parents, you know, I, I spent half my high school years grounded, probably. Uh, my parents believed in discipline. And so when Merle and I got married and we had kids, we decided intentionally that we were going to be mean parents as well, that we were going to practice discipline. Well, maybe we used time out a little bit more than, you know, corporal punishment, but we still exercise discipline on our kids. And the reason we did that is because we're biblical. Proverbs 29, 15 says, The rod and reproof give wisdom, but a child left to himself brings shame to his mother. Do you get that? The, the rod and reproof. In other words, if you discipline your child, it brings wisdom, but if you just leave a child to his own devices, he's going to embarrass you. That, that's pretty much what he's saying. You see, discipline is essential for children. They need discipline. And it, and parents, you're the one that God entrusted with the lives of those children, so you're the one who needs to, to practice discipline, who needs to instruct them in discipline, because it teaches children cause and effect. It teaches them that there are consequences for your actions, that you, you can't get away from that. Basically, it's teaching them biblical reciprocity, that you're going to reap what you sow in every avenue of life. And kids need to learn that. So if you want to become mature, you got to learn this lesson. And, and if you want your children to be blessed, then they have to learn this lesson as well. So uh, parents, again, you're designated by God to teach your kids. You, so however you decide to discipline your kids, whatever form of discipline you're going to use, would you please discipline your kids? so that they can learn cause and effect, because if you don't teach it to them, the world will. And if they don't ever learn it, then they'll never grow up and they'll never become those men and women that you want them to be, because the only way they're gonna find wisdom is through discipline. discipline. So uh, can I just encourage you, be mean parents, it's worth it. God bless and Merry Christmas.